Thank you, Sharon, for inviting me. I, um, I'm just, I heard Gary say, get your questions ready. Well, I'm going to ask you to be gentle on me this morning. Okay. I'll, um, oh, let, um, Jenny, if you don't mind, I'm just going to introduce, oh, I'm introduce sorry. you first. I'm That's sorry. okay. Because I'm just scanning and we always have new people joining us. So, um, and oh. also people will refer to this later. So um, I just welcome everybody. And um, as Jenny was saying, saying uh, we are going to Jenny's going to give us some information and get us up to speed and set the vision for 2022 for the purpose of corporate a partnership with us and um, but also we want participation so we don't have to fill an hour but we're here as long as you have questions and and we can help assist you with those and as Jenny said be gentle with her so she doesn't have all the answers of the planet right now it's a bit crazy out there so um I'd like to warmly welcome you. My name is Sharon Whiteman, and I partner with Gary Knapp, who you just saw, and Diana Hunter, who's on a lovely breakaway with her 90-some-year-old father, which mm -hmm. it's been, yeah, with COVID, it's been some time, so um, we know she's having a great time. Today, we're delighted to have Jenny Messenger, the Executive Director of Manatech Australasia. With an absolute devotion to growing businesses, developing teams and coaching and mentoring individuals to realize their potential, Jenny has forged a long-standing career within the Australian direct selling industry. <clears throat> Excuse me. She brings a wealth of experience gained from a diverse number of companies driving growth with the enthusiasm and energy to inspire and innovate. And I can sure <clears throat> confirm that. She inspires me. Jenny firmly believes that her ability to ma manage change and effectively has been crucial to her success and that of the role she has undertaken. She listed highlights as being published in the New York Times by one company as being responsible for exceptional sales and consultant growth in recent years. Also being able to contribute as a board member to the Direct Selling Association of Australia and sub subsequently serving a term as chair. Jenny is driven and excited by having the opportunity to help others realize their true potential with one of her favorite quotes being, success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life, it's about what you inspire others to achieve and how powerful and potent is that. So everybody needs what we have. We've got international expansion on the horizon, you know, pending weird war things happening in Europe. <laughs> oh God, it's, it's like dodging a bullet in this last few years, Jenny. I, I just have so much admiration from what you've ever been, been able to navigate so smoothly. So um, I know it's been tough. I really feel for you. Well, thank you, Sharon. And typical me, you know, jump in <laughs> at the end of time. And look, I, I am excited to be on, on your call and thank you for inviting me. Um, this is my joy, just reaching out and having the opportunity to spend time, you know, it will be it virtually and on Zoom um, with our teams, um, you know, across Australasia. Um, you know, it's, it's good to be connected. It's a great way of staying connected because you can't make decisions um, you know, in isolation in an office thinking you're doing the right thing. You know, the best way forward is to keep checking in and reaching out and um, you know, having the opportunity to face questions. And that's what I said, be, be gentle on me. But you know, um, I don't know all the answers, but if someone's got a question and you know, I can take it away and, and come back later, but it's, it's that way of making sure that you know we stay connected and I'm addressing concerns or issues that you know are, are raised in the field. It's got to be a bridge between um, you know corporate and field, and the way of that is you know a session like this. So thank you, thank you. And um, am I excited? So Jenny, I'll pop I'll, I'll pop off camera now for a while, and I'll jump back on. And remember, when you're formulating your questions, you know it's not about shipping, it's not about customer service, it's not about compliance, it's about forward-looking positive questions, how we can do this together and under all kinds of challenges. So I'll go off camera and okay. I'll pop back on when, after you've had time to just tell us about <laughs> 2022. <laughs> okay, thanks Sharon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, where, where, where was I? Okay, all right. Am I excited about 2022? Yes, I really am. And you know, having the opportunity to share uh, the message from conference that, you know, I really do believe that this is the year of possibility. We have plenty of opportunities we've all had, but really now it's about the possibility of what we can do and where we can take our business platform. And one of the most exciting new tools that we have to work with is obviously the markets opening in, in Europe, the six new markets. Um, I know they're NFR. And that probably 
is the catalyst of why um, why am I am I excited? Because you know it's not just those six markets that give us another opportunity. I mean, I think we're in about thirty two markets now. Um, you know, around the world. And to me, that's a validation of the strength of the company, the forward looking um, attitude of the management team. But it's not just about opening new markets. It's actually about what's happening behind the scenes in the back office to actually support that initiative. And I really want to, I guess, encourage everybody to make the most of the opportunity because what it will do if we work this right it will strengthen our Australian business platform you know we talk about um, you know think or grow locally um, and build globally because we have one of the best opportunities assets um, of the world in the fact that Australia is a multicultural community that's who we are. You know, being Australian means that you probably have a heritage, not only uh, born and bred in Australia, but a heritage that comes from so many other places around the world. And as we heard on our NFR call on Tuesday, conversations can start with anybody about who do you know? Who do you know? Because that person then be engaged in thinking about building a business with you here but the wonderful opportunity is the fact that it can um, connect them, you know, with family and friends um, in their heritage country overseas. And I'm pretty excited about that. So over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be tools rolled out that um, will support this initiative. So actually announcing the launch is the first stage, but there's a lot of systems and a applications being worked on behind the scenes to actually support the ability to run a smooth operated business um, in your own room, in your front room, you know, without having to invest in travel. Um, and I'm going to circle back to, you know, what we heard Rod say at the end of the call when he shared, you know, how he launched his business, how he built his business how he invested in traveling overseas to New Zealand, to Singapore, and further afield, the time and the energy uh, that that took. You know, you don't have to do that now. With modern uh, technology, you can still build an opportunity um, like Rod has built uh, by working smart, not harder, working smarter. And if you're not excited about that, then, then I'm sorry, I, I don't know what can get you impassioned. And I guess, you know, as we work to roll out the tools, I want to ensure that you have everything you need to build a business. I may ask you to work for everything you want, and that's a different story, uh, but give you everything you need. So it's the platform is there for you to decide then where do you want to take your business? And it is about your business. It's not mine. It's yours. There's a, some decisions I think everyone needs to evaluate. Are you in this business as a business? Is it full time? Is it part time? Or is it sometime? You know, sometimes not going to get you very far, but you can play and you can have fun. And that is the absolute joy of working um, independently um, as an associate in this industry. You don't have to check in to nine to five. You don't have to go to work six days a week. That's your choice. What I'm saying and what I'd like to reaffirm is that some time isn't as good as part time. Part time will still give you a business platform. But again, part time isn't as good as full time. If you're really committed to this as a business and work it full time like a business, honestly, the sky's the limit. And um, that, as I said, absolutely, um, I guess re really does excite me. And I, I've repeated myself a couple of times already, but um, I guess that's um, the feeling that's coming from here. Um, and I guess I'm trying to communicate that through this um, video application. But there's a couple of things I want you to think about once you've made that decision about your business. I guess what I've learned over the years is simple works. 
And also, <laughs> this is a business of relationships. <laughs> this is a business of people connections. This is a business of building trust. This is a business of getting to know um, those in your team more than any other industry. So yes, the tools are great. Social media is great. Um, give me all the infrastructure that I need to build my business, but make sure that you build the relationships. And to me, um, that starts with the first person you enroll. And to me, the way to really consolidate your business, whether it's your first associate or your 101st, is to ensure that they are successful. It's about being there for them. Because if you help them be successful, then ultimately you're going to be successful. You know, on an aside, I believe in the law of life. The more you give, the more you receive. So the more you give and support someone else in the business to be successful, the rewards are going to come back to you tenfold. So what does that mean? It means actually checking in with them. It actually means being there for them. It's, it's not about enrolling them and saying, look, you can go into the library and see all this information, everything's there, and then leave them to find their own way. You need to handhold a new associate. You need to uh, be there for them, hold them accountable. They wanted to join um, and they need to know that you want them to be successful. So set up a program that's conducive to both of you, but hold them accountable, check in. Have they made their contact list? What did they do this week? What were their results? What would they do differently? What would they change? Because that keeps them feeling that they can do this, that they've got support and left to their own devices, the very first hurdle they come across might be their last hurdle and they walk away. We also heard that from Luciano on Tuesday night. You know, even at his level, he still ensures that he gives a new associate that he's enrolled at least 90 days of intense um, support. And, and I guess that, you know, that proves that it is successful. It's it's just, it all show, oh, oh, sorry, it should almost be an unwritten law in, in our business, in our industry, that you are there to help someone be successful and you work with them for 30, 60, 90 days. And how can you keep them on track? Look, I'm sharing things that I'm, I'm sure you will know, but I'm trying to validate it. I'm trying to... Um, ensure that you do actually follow through uh, because that will make an amazing difference to your business. And the other thing that helps a new associate um, stay focused with your help is actually understanding their why. And again, I know you've heard that many, many times before, but asking about their why isn't one question. It isn't about one response. It's actually getting to that um, emotional level where you really see the emotion kick in so that you can draw on that emotion to help them. It's not about your success. It's about understanding really deep down inside of them what is going to be a key driver, what is going to help them over that first knockback. And it's, it'll happen. Um, you know, that, that's part of what we do and we have to accept that. But, you know, if I asked, if I asked Sharon, and I'm, I'm just using Sharon because, of, you know, what was her why? And Sharon said to me, oh, it's, yeah, I want to earn a good income. I wouldn't stop there. I'd say that, that's a great um, why to have Sharon. But what does that income, what is that income? What, what does an income mean to you? So I actually get down to a perhaps a figure or if somebody said to me, you know, I'm, um, I want to, um, I know, buy a house. What I'm trying to, by asking more questions is, what does that income, what will that income enable you to do? What will buying that house mean to you? How would you feel when you actually move into that house? I'm hoping I'm actually not confusing you, but getting clarification because we talk about the why as a 
you know, the, why is the heart around why someone builds this business? But we really need to understand that heart at an emotional level. And it's sometimes it's not that first answer to a question that is answered. OK, so I'm going to ask you all to think about this process. Keep it simple. Well, now we've got NFR. And that's the catalyst. Who do you know? Ask someone, who do you know? Ask them to think about two people that they could enroll in the business. Just start with two, maybe. The, the, the concept then is to show them how they can get to the first uh, level in our compensation plan, which is Silver Associate, in 90 days. That'd be awesome. We'll work with them, help them build their business, help them understand what the building blocks are of the business. And it's about talking to people, um, enrolling customers on automatic orders, all the things that you know. You know, I am sharing what you know, I'm just validating it. But it doesn't stop there. The, the flow on effect, if you help two people become silver associates by working with them very closely, you've taught them what to do, they know what to do, then you step back a little, but you're still there for them. And you encourage them to en enroll people and work with two people to help them become silver associates. First step, first step. And then they get to understand the compensation plan, start to get rewarded, and then you can take them on a bigger journey. So I guess this chat has been a bit organic this morning, um, but these are, I guess, key points that um, I'm keen to reinforce. I'm keen to visit um, during this year through training sessions, through um, understanding this simple process of, you know, one plus two, work with two, help them be successful. Those two enroll two and help them be successful. Um, will create an amazing platform of, um, for your business. And some of you are beyond that already, I know, but I believe we've also got some newbies on the call this morning. So let me take you back. Um, as I said, I'm going to, um, we looked at our uh, rhythm of events last year, what we were doing on business booster calls, what we were doing to support those working on the incentive trip. We have our AIM events during the year, and then you know we have our MBA. And to me, the MBA is a springboard to further leadership development. <clears throat> but I've revisited what we've done. I've tried to evaluate and assess what needs to stay and what needs to change to make sure that um, we are current and I can provide you with the tools, as I said earlier, that you need to grow. So there's gonna be some um, new initiatives on the Business Booster course coming up. We're obviously going to, well, not obviously, we're also going to link in with the training that's happening with Europe uh, on NFR. And because of the timelines there are not really um, conducive to good business practice here, being the hours they are, we will take recordings and then we'll um, roll them out again um, on calls during the year. And then we'll have our um, incentive trip uh, check-in monthly. Now, I do need to be transparent. We've had a few challenges uh, finalizing the incentive trip uh, criteria. Uh, we were almost ready to go. It hasn't been from the want of not trying, I assure you. Um, we were able to roll out the things that um, you needed to know from the onset. And we know now we're working on a, a 10 month um, incentive program. But during those calls, I want to revisit some of the elements that are in that incentive trip program. You know, why, why do we ask for enrollment of customers? Why do we ask for enrollment of associates? Why do we ask for or give you points for being on automatic orders? <clears throat> the incentive trip criteria is put together to encourage everyone to learn the basic building blocks of this industry uh, by practicing. And the carrot, which is a lovely one, is actually earning an incentive trip. But while you're focused on earning an incentive trip, you're actually learning all the basic skills that um, underpin a good business in this industry. So, you know, the incentive trip to me is the short game. 
would I love to have every one of you on there? Absolutely. But you know, only you can do it. I can't do it for you. But what we're trying to do while you actually try and, and go for the incentive trip is actually learn the skills along the way that will build your business for the long haul, the long game. So, you know, there's a reason why we do what we do in the way that we do it. And this has given me just a, a small window of opportunity to explain some of the um, elements that may not be immediately apparent when you're looking at um, something like the incentive trip uh, promotion. But the game plan is on next Wednesday, that's my target date, next Wednesday night uh, to roll out everything. We should have it all signed, sealed. We've got some exciting um, additions, different things we're doing in different ways and giving everyone different opportunities to, to actually achieve this amazing incentive trip. And the reason for a 10 month one is actually bringing us into align with what um, Manatech globally are doing. But also we felt that having had to uh, navigate um, our way through rules and regulations about what we can do flying and what we can do at hotels during our current challenges, I'm overusing COVID and here I am, I've just said it again. Um, we felt that by March next year, we should have a better uh, opportunity to move forward and not have too many um, challenges about trying to re-navigate. So we're really excited about Hobart. Um, you know, it's an island, as they say, on the edge of the world. Um, it's on our, you know, our back doorstep. I have colleagues around the world who would just give absolutely anything to have an amazing, you know, to visit Tasmania because, you know, it's known worldwide for its heritage, for its amazing scenery, its, uh, I don't know, lifestyle, and it's, um, it appeals to everyone, whether, you know, you enjoy eating, drinking, abseiling or whatever. And we've got the most amazing program. And here I am, I'm giving a wrap for, <laughs> I'm giving a wrap for uh, the incentive trip. But I guess that's part of our year. You know, um, we'll have promotions to roll out. We've got some exciting ones, that are, um, again, ready to come out for you. We want to um, keep you inspired. We, as I said, I want to give you the tools that make it easier for you to reach out to your customers, to make that call, uh, to give them some good news. And while you're chatting to them, take the business to another level. So as I said, I've been a bit organic this morning. Um, maybe that validates that I am um, excited. But as a multicultural nation with what we've just launched and the opportunities we have, every one of you sitting on this call this morning has an amazing opportunity and sincerely, sincerely make this your year of possibility. So I'm sorry, Karen, uh, verbal diarrhea from uh, Sharon, verbal diarrhea from me this morning. Um, <laughs> but Not at all. If there's any questions, um, I'm here. I don't profess to know all the answers. I've got my notebook and pen handy just in case, but I'm happy to answer anything that's come up on chat or oh, Q&A. There's two questions so far. So um, ongoing support for new associates abroad. How easy it's, is it to plug them into their corporate office and where do we find this information to connect them? Well, that's probably, there's a lot of questions in there. We are looking to strengthen the customer service team. And at the moment, all questions are being diverted to Karen in the UK. But now our customer service team in the Ukraine is under severe challenges. I know I'm, I'm gonna ask if you give me some time to really answer that question in detail. Not that I don't want to, but there's a lot of unknown things happening at the moment. Um, corporate are, are working um, you know, very fast and quick to uh, support the NFR uh, rollout uh, with ongoing training, which at the moment is coming out at these horrible timelines. Um, we're looking at what we can do, uh, whether we have to have a special person on the team to just address uh, questions or initiatives. Enrollment should be fluid and easy. That shouldn't be the difficult thing. It, I'm seeing personally the challenges will be ongoing support. So we are working on it. I probably haven't answered it 100 percent to the person who's asked the question, but I'm just going to ask you to be a bit patient with us as we work through, you know, um, 
what we need to do and how we need to do it to make sure we can deliver on the promise. And we're all on to it sincerely. Okay. And do you think there'll be form formal announcements as more of those steps are solidified? Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, I think possibly, you know, we'll do what we can through our communications platform. And if I have to have a, another leader call, then, you know, out of our schedule, I will do that. But we'll try and communicate to everyone as much in, as much as we can, as soon as we can. Okay. Absolutely. And um, this person has enrolled a customer in the U.S. <clears throat> and is unaware of the full product range of pricing for the U.S. and the opportunities over there. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty well on the website if you switch to. Yes, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> so to, go to the local market website, each market still will have some variances in their product portfolio. We're not at the point yet where we can have one product portfolio worldwide. Um, different countries have different um, regulations, um, rules, you know, and our authority is the TGA, and I won't say any more than that, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a plan to take them down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to be careful who my audience is, and um, you know, we have to work with obviously the authorities, and sometimes we have to, uh, well, we, we just have to do what we have to do. But the way to support someone is actually to check into the market website and actually understand what their product portfolio is, and there are differences around the world. Fantastic. Um, so I just put in the chat us.manatech.com, just like we're au.manatech.com but if yeah. you also look at the top panel of your website there's a drop down list to change countries and you have all the a different library a different product range and you and different um what do you call it when product materials yes um and you can access everything that they have that way yeah i mean the I, most amazing sorry sharon jump go ahead apologize i didn't mean to cut you off i mean the most amazing thing if you go into a market um with a language that you're not used to too you know you, you've got language opportunities as well mm, fantastic and i always find if i get stuck with a u.s or a canadian customer the u.s customer service is fantastic i just give them a call and mm. um they help me work out what i can't work out on the website so yeah, yeah. next question um at the recent conference we had new product uh packs flagged do you know if there's a, a timeline launch kind of is this top secret look at this is top secret <laughs> <laughs> look um yeah I, i'm i'd love to share with you but I'll, I'll probably get my knees cut off if i don't we're working on it the promotions are at the final point um and i'm excited about them because we've got um some new I don't think I can share this with you guys. We've got some new product packs. We will actually like your bundles, which will actually form part now of our product portfolio for the year. And, um, you know, these have been um, put together with the help of the senior leader team. We had some, uh, you guys helped us and told us, you know, what you thought would make good packages. We've had to adapt and adopt depending on availability. You know, just at the end of the day, we've come to the table with taking the input from what our senior leaders have advised would work and then what we can provide. And then we're adding these to our product portfolio. So they won't be promotional. They'll be part of our product portfolio going forward. And I am excited about those. And, um, you know, um, stay tuned because they're not that far away. I had wanted to roll them out at conference, but we had a few hiccups, uh, unfortunately. Um, I tell you what, navigating today's world is pretty interesting. I actually had to have colour put in my hair yesterday because I'd gone completely grey. No, it's not that much. <laughs> Anyway, oh, close. they're close okay those gray hairs are well deserved right now I, <laughs> I just can't imagine i know oh I, I, people I, are scared I, yeah sorry i just saw kelly at <laughs> plus oh my gosh i know i mean what a tr i'm gonna call it as it is what a train smash the the product that is you know our co one of our top sellers core product Guys, we didn't sit on our bottoms thinking we weren't <laughs> going to run out of this. We we have done absolutely everything possible to keep continuity of supply. Uh, and that was the reason for the grey hairs. Um, and um, look, I think on the, on the website, we're looking at April. So it's going to be out. I, I haven't actually got a, an official ETA yet, but I tell you what, the air has been blue. Black and orange, I don't know, whatever. Just, just trying to keep continuity of supply of that product. So we're doing all we can. And as soon as we get a firm date, I'll get it posted straight away. I mean, you know, can you honestly guys I believe that? Yeah, exactly. 
I think any manager with the field running out of plus should be running scared. <laughs> be hiding under your I desk. know, I know. <laughs> I, had, I had one associate, I think, uh, ordered 10 I'm, I'm just sharing I won't no names no pack drill and I got a panic call did my order get through before it went on back order oh my god you know and yeah. I guess you know let's uh, you know I'm, I'm gonna take the humor out it's not humorous it's 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 upsetting I you know I realize with our product portfolio continuity of supply is so important it's not like waiting for a book to be delivered it's not like waiting for candles to be delivered you know yeah. we are on the product because we believe in the product and you know it's therapeutic um, and not being able to take what you believe a need for your health yeah. I tell you I'm, sleepless nights I'm sorry and I'm not just over emphasizing we do everything we can for continuity of supply and just sometimes it's just nothing you just nothing yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I really apologise for that. But, you know, we didn't sit and think, how could we upset the field this week? Oh, you know, we'll <laughs> go out of stock of plus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that's very comedic, really, because we all know what plus gives us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Please don't send me hate mail, guys. I don't think I can, <laughs> I don't think I can take it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Dear. Chill pill weed plus. Um, <laughs> so it's only what? four or five days till April. So that's not too bad. We can. Well, I'm not saying the beginning of April. I'm just saying it's flagged for April and I can't say any more than that. We'll do everything we can to get it to you as soon as possible. Sincerely. Yeah. <sighs> it, I mean, I, I don't know how anybody's navigating these times. Like all businesses are impacted like we are. Yeah. And um, all I could encourage, and I know with respect, not everyone has the, um, budget available to stock up a little bit but yeah. as we face these supply challenges I would encourage you if you know for anything that you need absolutely because you know whatever it is then just have a backup a little bit of a backup in your larder um, so that you know um, <laughs> because it would help absolutely for your sake and and you know for what we're trying to do if you can just invest in a little bit more and just have a backup that will get you over it if an automatic order is missing a product or whatever. Just, yeah, just yeah. make good business sense, actually. You know, we're trying to stock up on certain things that we know might be a, a bit of a risk down, down the track. So, you know, it makes sense as business owners for you to do the same. No, absolutely. Sometimes I reflect and I'm grateful that um, I grew up with a mother who was impacted by the war when oh. they, you know, she... You know, she told me sto stories of eating only baked beans. That's all the food they had. And they had cardboard tied to their feet. So mm. she, I grew up and we had massive pantries. Like we had stock for a year of everything. So I've got a little bit of that in me. And I'm, I'm, I usually have lots extra, especially. It's, isn't that house. interesting? Sorry, a segue. Yeah, my mom, same with me. It, she would never buy one of everything. She'd buy yeah. two. And I say, mom, you only need one. You know, you can pop up the shop. No, no, one for now. And I've got one backup and whatever. She bought two of everything. So same, same. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, same here. So we've got very, very full cupboards. It's a storage issue. But, um, <laughs> Sorry, Sharon. Sorry. No, that's okay. So uh, we've run out of questions. Does anybody have anything else from our fearless leader today? I did ask you to be gentle on me, guys, <laughs> but you can. You can, ask, you can ask the awkward questions. I'll just say I'll take it on notice. But I think plus was probably the I knew that was going to come up. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I'll wait. I'll wait. But anyway, yeah. I, hope, I hope I've um, somehow shared that, you know, we are doing everything we can. And it doesn't make any difference whether we've got one product out or 10 products. Not saying that's what, what you know, we need to have continuity of supply. And Australia, I'm going to. The team here um, and those helping this market, because of our isolation, have done really well. Um, we haven't suffered as some of our Manatech counterparts in other parts of the world who've had huge outages. So I know it's small comfort because, yeah. you know, nobody wants to be out of anything, but we haven't done too bad, really. Seriously, we haven't done too bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's comparative, isn't it? It's all relative. Yeah. In the big picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Jenny, I think you've done your job. So the next meeting is next week, Wednesday. That's right. Wednesday night, we're going to officially go through all the um, uh, T's and C's on uh, our incentive trip. Um, and also, you know, 
and I'm going to encourage everyone to be on, on the call. Yes, everyone. Um, we're going to start doing some surprises for those who are on the call, uh, like we launched uh, and challenges so that we can have fun over the next 10 months. But you're only going to be eligible for some of those prizes if you're on the call. Do I need to say any more? But anyway, it's just, you know, um, whether you feel that the incentive trip is within your reach or not, and that's your decision, those calls will also be um, information sharing, hints and tips that will actually help you on your regular business platform. So, um, you know what? Come and join us. Fantastic. And um, the business boosters, are they recorded? Yes. Um, yes. yes. So if they missed last week, they can just go on to um, the blog and find yes. the link. Yes, yes, they can. Perfect. And there's a question about Glyco Cafe. Is it coming back? Well, that's another. Well. One. <laughs> that's another one. Um, uh, here's a story. I'm going to uh, give a politician's <laughs> answer here. Okay. <laughs> at this point in time, yes, but um, it is being looked at because it's not a. Um, how can I? It's not a top seller in our market, and if you're looking to add something else, then sometimes something has to go. So this is a politician's answer. We're looking at adding some new products. And uh, some of those that don't sell very well may end up being taken out of our portfolio. Yeah. And I won't say any more than that. OK. Um, Gee, I don't know. I, I don't know whether I should accept your invitation again, Sharon. I think I end up giving too much away. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Uh, too funny. So um, I think we're it. Those people loving their Glyco Cafe. Yeah. Well, then, but buy up and make it the top seller. Then I won't have to even think about what we have to think about, will I? I know, I'm only kidding. Yeah, there's some um, fiscal decisions that need to be made oh, sometimes, yeah. I imagine. Well, you only can have, um, you know, a set amount of products in a, you know, in a portfolio. It can't be ad infinitum. And there's some exciting new products that I, I again, I am excited to uh, be working on to launch throughout the year. And um, if I have to let a product go, where, what would I do? Mm. It would be no, a I understand. problem. Yeah. Yes, there's been a few that have come and gone that have been disappointments, but yeah. if we focus on just a few, we've got the many that are just amazing. That's right. Yeah, mm. that's right. So Jenny, what would you like to leave people today with? Um, I actually think the most important thing uh, where we are now is to look forward. You know, is is to forget about the last couple of years. It's been a huge challenge, but stop. We need to stop looking back. We've learned a lot. Um, we've understood some of the things we need to change and adapt. I think we're in a stronger position now than we were two years ago in all areas, and we've got so much happening now um, worldwide as well as for Manatech Australasia with you know with with new products. Um, you know, there's a reason that the windscreen is larger than the rear view vision mirror, because you need to look at where you're going rather than where you've come from. And I want every one of you to look at this year as a year of possibility, because it's going to be awesome. Let's and, and conference next year. We're already planning and it's going to you know, we need to have it all bells, whistles and flutes because we haven't been together now for a couple of years. And oh, my gosh, are we going to have a big bash? at our conference next year, come hell or high water. So look forward, look forward to, um, you know, driving your business, give it everything you've got, get out of your comfort zone, guys, come on and um, be up there with the leader team because you can do this. Believe in yourself. Mm, Believe you absolutely, can. Absolutely, Jenny. Okay. Um, you're, we're so grateful for you. There's so much um, gratitude and comments of love and support for you in, in, in the chat here. Thank you very much for giving us some of your Saturday morning. My pleasure. And um, keep safe. Stay well, everyone. And um, we'll do this again. Not too soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get you back. Don't worry. We'll keep you okay. back. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you guys. Bye. See you next week. Bye-bye.